Hello, my name is Rishnara Ali. I'm the Member of Parliament for Bethnal Green and Bow. I'm sorry I can't be with you today, but I have recorded this message because I wanted to lend my support to the work of Sona Talks. If you're a sponsor of Sona Talks, I want to say thank you for all that you've done to give people uh, the opportunities that they deserve. And if you are someone who've recently arrived in the UK, you are very warmly welcome. I hope Sona Talks provides the opportunities that you need to get on. For centuries, Britain has provided a safe haven for people fleeing persecution, violence and upheaval. When I think of my own constituency in the East End of London, I think of the stories of the Irish people fleeing economic hardship and famine. I also think of the stories of the Huguenots fleeing from France because of religious persecution. That's when the word refugee came into usage. I think of the stories of the Jewish people from Eastern Europe escaping the pogroms and later the Nazis. I think of the tens of thousands of people who came from Africa, Asia, the Middle East in search of a better life into our country. And I think of my own parents and my father in particular who came to the UK from Bangladesh in the 1960s and my own family who um, settled in the UK and in the East End of London in the constituency that I now represent. And when I think of all the people travelling thousands of miles, often in great peril, I give thanks. I give thanks that they came here, found safety, found prosperity and started a better life. I'm thankful for the contribution they made and their children and their children's children have made to our country. You see, the kinds of people who have the courage to come here as refugees are usually the kinds of people with the determination, with the grit, with a massive work ethic, with the entrepreneurial zeal, with energy, with a zest for life, with ideas, uh, and with the will to succeed. Just the kinds of people that every country needs to grow their economy, to create jobs and wealth, and to keep the host community young and vibrant. So if that's you, I say welcome. Now, just, just now, I said that Britain has, a, a, has centuries old traditions of welcoming refugees. The tragedy is that reputa that reputation has become tarnished in recent years. Since the Brexit referendum three years ago, something dark and hostile has been unleashed. There's bitterness to our discourse and an unwelcome tone in our national conversation. That must change. We need to bring people together in uh, this uh, current atmosphere of hostility and intolerance. We need to work together to reach out, to support one another and to stand up against intolerance, uh, against discrimination, against hospitality hostility against the othering of people who are visibly different and against newcomers and so it is vitally important that we continue to support refugees to welcome refugees because Britain at its best is a country that is welcoming that is diverse that is warm that is generous and that is the spirit of this great country that I salute and that is what we need to fight for and we need to support. Thank you.